for this week, that is exactly what I want you guys to do. I want you to watch how congruent you are. I want you to practice that. When you're about to do a presentation or you have a meeting, I need you to practice and check yourself and make sure that you're being congruent and you're, and you're being certain. But I also want for you to pick that in your customers. I want for you to start looking at those little incongruencies in your customers. Yes? That's my aha moment from this one. Uh, is it's not the incongruencies in myself because because I feel so strongly about the the product and I'm so passionate about it that okay. that doesn't really come into it but um, there's an unconscious bias where you're looking for a particular answer and once you get that answer you immediately move forward without really paying attention to how that answer was delivered so exactly. that's one of my aha moments here is is knowing it's not. I, I can't just wait for the answer that I'm looking for and then move on. I need to, I need to be able to, to uh, examine how that answer was delivered to see if it is really the answer that I'm looking for or if it's just a different answer disguised as the answer I'm looking for. Beautiful. And it's exactly what Jason is saying. You have a lot of customers saying, yeah, yeah, that's a no. That is definitely a no. And we need to be able to identify that and tackle yeah. that before we continue with the presentation. Thank you so much for that, Jerry. I love it. Thank you so much. Now, test time, and then I'll let you go. Here we go. Question number one, guys. When a salesperson is not congruent, they are? Out of sync. Yeah, out of sync, yeah. Out of sync. That was an easy one. Second question. If a salesperson doesn't have a congruent body language, voice qualities, and choice of words, they create what in their customer? Doubt. Doubt. Oh, this is way too easy for you guys. Question number three. 